He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Armstrong Entertainment. This is Chad here, and I saw the movie Fury. Now, this film, I'll just get right into it. I love World War II movies. I love them so much. Ever since Saving Private Ryan, the first time I saw that film, it just left me, I was, like, in shock at the end of this film. I had never felt that way after a movie, and I've always been looking for that feeling again. I don't know what it was. I guess it was the first war movie that I saw when I was way younger, obviously. And it just really affected me. And I was like, holy crap, this is crazy. Like, war was crazy. I can't, I can't even imagine being in World War II. I would, I would be dead in two seconds. It was insane. So as soon as I saw the, the preview for Fury, I was like, wow, this is interesting. This could be kind of... Obviously, I knew it was no Saving Private Ryan. But I thought, you know, it's from the tank's perspective. So that, that would be really cool. I haven't seen any movies like that. It, it was kind of new and different for me. So Fury is the name of this Sherman tank that is operated and run by a group of these merry men. By Brad Pitt and Shia LaBeouf and Logan Lerman and Michael Pina and this other guy from Walking Dead. And they all, they make up this group of men who control the tank and... You know, they've been together forever, except for Logan Lerman's character. He just kind of joins the group because their gunner or whatever, he got killed. Don't worry, I didn't ruin anything for you. It happens before even the movie starts. So Logan Lerman is just kind of thrown into this. He's like this this kid who doesn't know what he's doing. He's a novice. He, he's just thrown in the front line. So it's kind of like, okay, yes, we've heard the story before. Brad Pitt plays like the, the commander guy. He's tough as nails, but he really has a heart of gold. It's kind of like, okay, that's kind of cheesy too. It's like... Who are you, though? It's, each character, I felt like, had like a two to three word breakdown for their character. Like Shia LaBeouf, he was basically like a preacher who would, he would just spew Bible verses and stuff. But like, who are you? Why are you like that? I don't care. Like, I get it that that's your character, but it just didn't make sense. It, it just didn't make me feel for them. And it, like Saving Private Ryan, it's a Tom Hanks character, you know. He has that whole speech where he's like a school teacher and he explains why he's at war and what he can't wait to get back to. There's no scenes like that in this movie. It's kind of just like, you're in a tank, you're going to blow this guy up, you're going to go to the war, you're going to fight here, you're going to... I don't know, it was just kind of cheesy. Now, I'm not going to say I wasn't entertained because I definitely was entertained. I thought it was... there were some exciting moments, some exciting scenes, and I was, in, I was into the movie. I was having fun watching it. All the battles were really cool. It reminded me of the film U571, where they're like stuck in this sardine submarine, and they're fighting. It was kind of the same thing, but it's on land now. It's like they're stuck in this tank, in this sardine tank fighting. And I think it's funny because the writer-director is the same one as U571 as Fury. So it kind of re this movie, I would say, is Saving Private Ryan meets U571, but obviously not nearly as good. I had a good time, but there was nothing memorable about this film. I honestly, it's just going to kind of get clustered in my head with all the other World War II movies that kind of don't leave a strong impact like Saving Private Ryan. I'm not going to say it was a bad movie, but I'm not going to say it was a good movie. I wouldn't say rush out and go see it, but if you have a chance and you've seen everything else and there's nothing else that looks good to you, I would say check it out. Uh, it was decent enough and I enjoyed myself. The movie's called Fury and it is playing in a theater near you. Until next time. He'll watch a movie, then he'll tell you all about it. It's the Armstrong Entertainment Show.